Hi, Mary Ellen Pruito here. I'm getting ready for Looney's Audacious Art Auction. That's going to be happening on April 24th to 26th. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I live in central Minnesota, where the winters are long and the summers are beautiful. I spend a lot of time in my studio creating abstracts and abstract landscapes. And um, I'm going to turn this around now and show you some of the pieces that might possibly be included in that auction. So here are some of my latest abstracts that I hung up on the wall in my studio to take a closer look at them and decide just what I want to put in in Looney's auction. Let me get a little closer. We'll start here at the top. I have a series I call vessels. Vessels can mean so many things and um, I'm very abstract. I love color and I love what people see in my abstracts that I may not see when I'm creating. This one I call Harvest and this one reminded me of fossils and petroglyphs. So that's the title of that one. Then we'll go back to this blue one. This blue one is not titled yet. I'm still deciding. And then back here or closer up here is this one I call Delicate Balance. Mainly because when I was creating this, I kept looking at the colors, trying to find a balance between the orange and the yellow. And you can see some pinks and purples around the edges. So that's sometimes that's how I come up with my um, titles. Now this one has some gold metallic in it along with the warm oranges and the turquoise at the top. And now I'll take this down and show you this one. This one I titled Sunken Treasure. It reminds me of deep sea and lots of beautiful things. And over here, after I looked at this one for a while, I decided the perfect title for this one was Golden River. You can see the gold metallic pieces, lots and lots of texture and some mixed media pieces in there to give it depth and layers and layers of color. Now well, down here on the floor, I have a smaller blue and white one I titled The Journey. And we'll do a little close up of that one. I create with acrylics and some mixed media to give it the texture. I use brushes and my fingers and uh, brayers to create all those layers. Now let's go over here. And here's some more abstracts. Here's another one I titled Vessels in my Vessel series. And this one I call kite flying on a windy day. We have lots of wind up here in Minnesota and I thought that was a perfect title. Now here's some of my abstract landscapes, full of color, beautiful fall, beautiful colors of flowers. And so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you will stop in at the auction and take a look at all the other beautiful paintings that all of the artists are going to have. So that was a sample of some of my work and I'd like to tell you just a little bit more about me. I've been painting for some 20 years but I've always had the need to create with my hands. Before I started painting I actually built furniture. I designed and built furniture from uh, salvaged wood, from old homes, and created pieces of furniture that I marketed in small boutiques. When that got a little too much manual work for me, I decided to put my time into painting and create the patinas that I love to see on old wood and old billboards, rusted items, 
it all speaks to me in some way that is very moving. So those are some of the things I try to incorporate into my abstract paintings. I also love the land. I grew up on a small farm in North Dakota, and I have always been fascinated by the seasons, which we have all four of them up here in the north, and I love the fall and the spring. So in my abstract landscapes, you'll see plenty of color, big sky, lots of clouds, and that's what moves me. I hope that some of my paintings will speak to you too. Thanks for listening.